Hey folks, Mr. Hartzler here. In this video, I want to show you how to do activity 3.1.2, part 2, and it is about controlling one motor at a time. So we start off with our motors here that you'll see on the bottom right side of your screen. Uh, if you look at the little cracks kind of in here, you should be able to see them as they do move, and it might get a little bit loud on the video when that happens. First thing we have to do is, of course, make sure everything is set up. All of our motors and sensors and servos and everything are all lined up in our motors and sensors setup. I have a different video on how to do that. And first thing we have to do for this part of the activity is to start our right motor. So we have to type in start motor. We have to tell it which one. We're going to do right motor first. Then we have to tell it speed. And they said half speed. So that's 63.5. And that with a colon, or sorry, a semicolon. Then we have to wait five seconds because we want that motor to be spinning for five seconds. And then we stop motor. And we have to tell it which one. And so it's going to be right motor. And end that with a semicolon. Let's test this out. And we should see one of our motors move. We have to compile program. Then we hit download a robot. Once the debugger has fully loaded, we hit the start button. Once it has gone through its cycle, uh, you can either stop it early by hitting this, um, it will be a stop button at that point, or you can do it again by hitting the start button again. Next thing we have to do is modify this. They want to turn the left motor on at the same time as the right motor. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. We start our left motor, or sorry, start right motor, just like we did before. Now we've added starting our left motor, and we've added stopping our left motor. So I uh, just so you see where some of that came from, I just happen to remember the code because I've done this a couple times. But if you're not sure how to do something, we can go over to the left. And we're always going to be under natural language. Hit the plus sign. Go to robot movement. Or sorry, just movement. And we have start motors and stop motors right there. And you can drag that over. Paste it. And then you have to change motor ports, obviously whichever motor you're using. In our case, it's right motor or left motor. And then we have to change speed as well. And it looks like I'd written this code wrong originally. I forgot to type in my speed of 63.5 for our right motor. So I start right motor, start left, wait five seconds, and then I stop both motors. We have to recompile that. So up in the top center, compile program. We're going to have to download the robot. We wait for our debugging window to pop up. Once it is fully loaded, we'll hit the start button, and you'll see both of them move now. Now that both of them are moving, we're good to go with that. Exit out of this little window, and there's one more modification. They want us to change the direction of both of these motors using two different techniques. First one we could do is put a minus sign in front of both of our speeds. That will make it spin in the wrong direction. Or we can go to motor and sensor servo, motor and sensors setup. I keep saying that wrong. Go to the motors tab, and we can hit reverse for both of these, those little check boxes. Now that I've done that for both of them, uh, it would end up going in the same direction, but I'm going to uncheck the reversed, hit OK, and since I've just changed one of them, they should actually go in reverse. Compile that program again, hit that download button. Once it has loaded, you can then hit that start button, and you should see them spin in the other direction. And they did. I didn't want to wait the full five seconds, so I just hit the little stop button on the screen. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please click the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Hope this was helpful and have a great day, everybody.